the coup, 1966 coup, it was not only Igbo people that were involved in that coup. Those who were supposed to play their roles failed to play their roles. Unfortunately, that coup was not labeled Igbo coup. Hello guys, so this is a message from Dr. Chas Apoki to all the Igbos concerning this particular protest that is going on in Nigeria. I'm not going to waste too much of your time. I'm going to let you watch the video, but I want to beg you to please help me by liking and sharing this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Let's watch the video. I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki, the area grandfather. This is my advice to the Igbo nation. I am older than Nigeria. I started reading newspapers very early. I was listening to radio very early. So I understand some things. Number one. If the Igbos join this protest, I know Nigerians, I know the different geopolitical zones in this country. When the chips are down, somebody who has invested so much of his time and his resources into becoming president will not just run away or uh, abandon his pursuit with ease. Number two, they don't have the mental capacity to organize this country. You could see during the Chatham House discussion, question and answer time, somebody who was delegating questions to Aero 5 to people, people willingly still went and elected him. Assuming you want to employ somebody and you are doing interview, and he's delegating the questions to his friends. Would you employ him? And if you employed him, contrary to the counsel of those who know and then you're having challenges, do you want those who counseled you to come and join you to sort your mess? No. The coup, 1966 coup, it was not only Igbo people that were involved in that coup. Those who were supposed to play their roles failed to play their roles. Unfortunately, that coup was not labeled Igbo coup. And some people have not forgiven them till today. And that resulted in vengeance, terrible vengeance that finally culminated in the genocide against a people, several people died in the East around this country. And then their properties were destroyed and properties seized by those who used to be their neighbors, abandoned properties. So don't join in this protest. Why? When, a, when economic situations like this start to happen, and the people are clueless. What they turn to is tyranny. And when tyrants want to operate, you will look for the weakest spots to start from, to frighten the people that you have weaponized with poverty. So if the Easterners join in this protest, they will go there and shoot at them mercilessly. Surprisingly, a lot of their leaders will not raise their voices to speak against any injustice done to the egos. Now the Kanu's manifestation and emergence was because a leadership vacuum was created. The leaders in Igbo land could not speak up on time when their people were being killed by headsmen. And lousy men like Joe Igbokwe would be castigating his own people because of peanuts. So don't join these protests. You will become the scapegoats 
the sacrificial lamb. You don't need the Nigerian economy to do your businesses. You have been surviving without the Nigerian economy. Continue your businesses. Don't join in this protest. Why? You have more businesses spread around this country than most tribes. You have more buildings and infrastructural projects around this country than any other tribe. And if catastrophe and destruction and violence comes, your properties will be the first target out of anger and jealousy. So let there be peace. Don't join in the protest. Let those who cooked their pepper soup drink their pepper soup. They understand what they are doing. Don't join in this protest. The next thing is that if you join in this protest, they will start picking your leadership one after the other and jailing them. Can one call I mean and name the Kano in prison is enough. We don't want others to go and join him. Let me tell you one thing they might do. They might hurriedly release Nam the Kano to appease the East, but don't protest. If you don't protest, that will be the easiest way for presidential pardon. Because I know politicians, they will appease you by releasing Nam the Kano and say he is your friend. The next thing is that when tyranny starts, when the anger of tyranny comes forcefully, they might spare their people because they want second term. They might not spare you. Please. If you see a child holding a snail in his hand and you ask that child, what killed your grandfather? If he says snail, what killed your father? He says snail. What are you holding in your hand? He says snail. That child is not wise. You have suffered enough victimization in this country. Please, don't play into this trap. Many of those protesting now, if there is a breakdown of law and order, how many of them are in Igbo land? to run away. And what do they own? What do they own? Most of these people, what do they own outside their immediate geopolitical zone? You have more to lose. You have more to lose. A cessé fly that stands on somebody's scrutiny must be killed with wisdom. If not, you will damage your own scrutiny. Peter Obi was very wise when and his followers in all the tribes when they did not enter the streets to protest injustice. He will have been arrested, detained, and maybe die in prison. Just like Azabiola did. That was a big trap. He escaped it. You who are obedient, don't join in this protest. This is not your fight. Let those who hate Nigeria fight against themselves. And then he who laughs last, laughs best. Dr. Oki, I'm in the area grandfather. God bless you. Take this seriously. I hardly talk and it doesn't come to pass. God bless you. I have an online seminar coming up on the 9th of March, 7 p.m. Nigerian time. It's on real estate. Send a number to plus, send a message to plus 234-7052-136763. A word, they say, is enough for the wise, my people. Use your tongue, count your teeth. And that is all I have to say concerning this with all of that being said i'm gonna say thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you all in my next video bye bye bye